hear plenty of that already. In fact, there was a session yesterday afternoon where you got to hear a bunch of uh, CEOs and CTOs pontificate. So this is instead going to be much more interactive. The focus of the session is for people to share experiences, those who have moved to leadership roles, those who want to, to answer questions generally as a, as a, a point for discussion. So when Sarah first suggested this, one of the things that she said was, you know, for people who are doing a PhD, they want to know, well, what are career paths? What are ways that they can get to do things other than being in research? And that struck, that struck a nerve with me because I thought, you know, when you look at it, by and large, we, we, like many other companies, hire people with PhDs and we put them into research. So is the R&D department the ghetto for PhDs? <laughs> and how do we help those PhDs to get on and do other things? And it reminded me of something that I've said to students. I've done a lot of uh, interaction for the Fuels and Petrochemicals Division with the student conference. And the undergraduates often, you know, when you, when you go and talk to the undergraduates, two questions always come up. Actually, three questions always come up. One is, when do I get my MBA? One is, uh, when do I take the PE exam? And the third one is, should I get a job or go to graduate school? And what I always tell the undergraduates is, if you get a PhD, it won't necessarily kill your career. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you will have to overcome it. And the evidence I like to cite is um, Jack Welch and Lee Raymond. So Jack Welch headed uh, GE and uh, Lee Raymond headed Exxon. They were both PhD chemical engineers. They both managed to get into uh, very senior leadership positions at uh, two of the largest corporations in the world, despite having a PhD. So they overcame the disability. Yeah. So, so we can all do that. So now to get to our session, that was by way of introduction. What we'd like to do is we'd like to make this an open uh, forum. We've, we're set up with this uh, lecture and that's not gonna work. So. Safety message, if you look at the chairs, just lift one slightly, don't try fighting the chair, don't try fighting the person next to you, slightly lift the chair and they will come apart separately. So we'd like to get everybody, take your chair, and let's try and re rearrange ourselves into a nice big circle if we can manage that. <laughs>